what a, an amazing day we have today. It kind of feels a little cooler, so we're getting more uh, ready for the wonderful holiday energy and spirit to come in. And it always feels better to me when it's a little cooler. How about the rest of you? Of course, I came from Minnesota. We have <laughs> bitter cold and snow for Christmas. And namaste to all of you who have joined us today. And um, I'm Reverend Nancy. And um, we will be talking today about generosity and giving because it is the season of generosity and giving. And what does that mean? And, and how we do give onto the world, ourselves and others. And it's not always in presence, is it? You know, we can give of our, our um, talents, we can get tithe, we can give of uh, physical things, but we also can give of support, balance in our lives. We can give ourselves gifts. We have to remember, this is the time for giving, but we oftentimes forget ourselves, don't we? So we want to really come and um, and to come together in peace, in your inner peace first, and to give from your inner peace out to the world. And this is time also of peace. So, so um, as we come together, we want to, to remember that these are things that um, we need to focus on, not always about giving to others, but giving to ourselves first, in love and peace, harmony, joy, and loving ourselves. And that is praising God, okay? You always hear about, oh, praise God, right? Okay, but that's not necessarily saying a prayer or saying uh, uh, affirmation or saying things. It's recognizing the God within you, the divine within you. And that's praising God because when you recognize that, you recognize that you are a particle of God. As I've said many times and many people have heard me say that if God was the sun, we're all sun rays. So we're particle of everything. Uh, on the in the universe too because everything 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 has a, a energy of god in it and we're part of that so when we start as we move into this holiday season and into the uh the season of joy peace love giving then we want to remember that by recognizing the divine within ourselves and who we really are and staying in that alignment as to who we really are, then we, want, we are giving more because when we give from that space, we're giving from our space of empowerment, okay? So empowerment, and forgiveness, gratitude, and giving. Because once you have knowledge, if we have perceptions, perceptions are of the ego, mostly, okay? Are of the, the third dimensional mind. We perceive things and we pass judgment in that mind. But when we become all that we can be and stay in that, that right mind, then we become the observer of our life. And when we become the observer of our lives, we become uh, more calm and we, and we watch the world as if it was a live stage. And we can observe things and not get pulled into what's going on outside of ourselves or have a allergic reaction to what's going on, so to speak, or a reaction of anger. Uh, because if you're at peace, 
and something else is in front of you that is not of peace, you don't need to get pulled into that, do you? You can stay in your peace regardless of what's going on. I had a, a friend of mine one time when I was reading, leading a meditation group. And there was, it was in an apartment building and there was some noise and you could hear it from the neighbor. And she said, oh, I can't meditate here anymore. There's too much noise. And I said, sweetheart, if you're at peace, you could meditate in the middle of a prison. Okay, you are the ones in control. We control ourselves and how we use energy, don't we? So you take control of your life, take your power. And when you're all that you uh, are originally uh, born into perfection and love, when you become that and own that and walk in that, then you're really giving. Because if you're not, if you're giving through thinking that you're going to get something back, is that really giving? I don't think so. And if you're giving, thinking that you need to uh, 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 be rewarded for it or appreciated for it, that's not really giving, is it? That's giving for an ulterior, ulterior motive, right? So, but when you become all that you can be, you bring in that Christ consciousness. And this is the time to do it because people are at more at peace right now because it is the holiday season. They're more willing to give. Whether it's for the wrong motives or not, that's their business, not ours, okay? So you pay and stay in your own lane, so to speak, right? We have to stay in our own lane and pay attention and be conscious of what we're saying, thinking, and doing. If we're giving for uh, other reasons, if you're giving for other reasons than from uh, a, heart, a heartfelt giving, then think about it. Be observant of what you're doing and be conscious of all things around you, okay? So as we come, come in and sit down, ladies. <laughs> and so um, as we come together, I want to say um, a prayer first to open the this, this service, and then we'll start uh, in with the service, okay? I'm sorry, I think we ran out of these sheets. I, I didn't realize there was some, I think some people have taken them home. So if you didn't get one, maybe share with your neighbor, okay? All right, now we're gonna say a lovely prayer to bring in this divine uh, service today. And uh, so if you just get quiet within yourself, center yourself from your crown all the way down into your feet and ground yourself. We thank you, Father, Mother God, for this great and wonderful privilege to be here with these divine souls. We ask that the healing angels, the guides, the loved ones, the teachers, the holy ones, the masters, the gurus, the great, great ones, the holy angels, the archangels, and the spiritual helpers come forth and work and speak through me to give upliftment, guidance, healing, divine protection, divine blessings, divine love, and most of all, peace and harmony in your heart. We thank, we thank you, Father, Mother God, for this great and wonderful privilege to be here with these divine souls. So be it, so be it, so be it. So be it, so be it. Okay. First of all, we'll say the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer, as many of you have heard me talk, is more powerful than just regular prayer. And it's even more powerful when it's done in Hebrew. Do you know it in Hebrew, honey? By heart? Okay. Yeah. So do you want to sing that after we finish saying it? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, so the Lord's Prayer is connected to all of our chakras. And as we say the Lord's Prayer, 
our Father which art in heaven, that's connected to the crown chakra. And then hallowed be thy name is the Ajna, which is right between your eyes and your throat chakra. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done is the heart chakra, the front and back solar plexus. We have front and back heart chakras and front and back solar plexus. Give us this day our daily bread is the navel and the front and back spleen chakra. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Man is the mang mang chakra, which is directly behind the navel. And then, um, and lead us not into temptation is the back, heart, crown, and sex and throat chakra. Uh, for thine is the kingdom, is the basic chakra, or the root chakra. And then uh, the glory is the mang mang chakra, the power is the front and back spleen, and forever is the crown. So we'll recite it, and then lovely Liba with her harp will sing it in Hebrew, which is very, very powerful. Okay? So we'll start with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which are in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, glory forever. Amen. Inu Shaba Shamai, Mikada Shameha, Tavo Ma Uteha, Mikada Shameha, Tamoba Shamai, Kaimba Bless, Tedlehem Hukenu Tenlanu. Ayo Ulu Salah Fani Edho Kotenu Kasher Salah Nu Gamanah Nu Lahaya Venu Mialti Mienu Liadeni Sayo Thank you, Leva. That was beautiful. So we've said a prayer to open and we've said the Lord's Prayer. And I want all of us here and at home, please, to hold Catherine in prayer. Um, her um, family's home burned down. And if she, if you all have any um, uh, feeling to give, she needs furniture, she needs cash, she needs anything that you all can offer to her. And she's sitting right here in the, in the second row. And so at the service today, uh, if you feel like giving, please do for her. Thank you so much. Okay, so we'll go to the next thing and that's the I am affirmation. Why do we say the I am affirmation? Well, when we come into this earth, we have this huge soul, don't we? We have a magnificent soul. And we cannot bring all of that soul into this little bitty body. We'd blow up, right? Because that's too much energy for us. So we have what's called the higher soul and the incarnated. They are not separate. But when we come upon this beautiful earth of ours, sometimes we have spiritual amnesia, don't we? We forget who we are. We forget that we're one and connected with that divine soul. And that's a step sound. The higher soul is connected to the divine soul. And you get direct 
energy coming into the higher soul. Well, then that funnels through the spiritual cord, which is right up straight from the crown. It funnels into the incarnated soul, which usually resonates, you know, the res uh, right in through your heart. Cell. Okay. But when we have a sense of duality and separation, we end up not being guided by that higher soul. So when you say, I am that I am, okay? The great I am presence within your body, the incarnated soul is connected to the great I am the divine I am, which your higher soul is connected to and gets direct energy and guidance from. So when you connect and stay connected with the higher soul, you'll start getting guidance and messages and, and uh, you know, just this anchoring of power within you that you don't um, hesitate on things or it's a little easier to make decisions, you know, and you get your downloads from there too. You know, a lot of us are getting downloads from energy and from the higher beings right now because we're trying to bring on to this beautiful earth, the fifth dimensional frequency of love. And we are holding that strong when we ourselves Go within and keep connected to that higher soul, that divineness that we all were born in. We were born in perfection and love. Remember that. And when you're feeling that you're not good enough or somebody's put you down, remember that's not who you are. You're a divine soul. You're a magnificent soul. And you are just as good as anybody else on this, right? So let's say the I am affirmation. I am that I am. I am that I am. I'm not the body. I'm not the emotions. I'm not the thoughts. I'm not the mind. The mind is only a subtle instrument of the soul. I am the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence, divine love, divine power. I am one with my higher soul. I am that I am. I am a child. Oops, I'm sorry. I am a child of God. I am connected with God. I am one with God. I am one with all. So. Each day, if you repeat something like that, and if you need a copy of this uh, I am affirmation, um, you can take this copy um, and I'll have to make some more because I'm running short, right? <laughs> but, or you can connect with me and ask me to send you a copy, okay? So um, as we, connect with that, what it does, when you reconnect to the, uh, your higher soul, it's divinely guides you even down to the apple you pick in the store. You can be so divinely guided throughout each and every day. And that's my practice in the morning. I say, thank you, say the Lord's prayer and ask to be divinely guided through my day. And when I do that, it's invoking to see what happens throughout the day. Very important for us to invoke what we want to happen through our day. We're in charge. Let's not give up our power to other things or people or situations. So invoke what you want to happen in your day. Manifest that, create that, okay? So as we go then, we will do the forgiveness. It's the joy of forgiveness. Why do we forget? Because when we come here on earth, we have certain soul contracts with people, don't we? And some of them aren't so joyful. Aren't <laughs> we get a little entangled with people, so to speak, and have karmic stuff that shows up in our life. And then somebody might hurt you, or you might feel a situation was irritating to you. Doing forgiveness 
unchange your soul from that karmic uh, reoccurrence and that pattern. So forgiveness is extremely important to continue to do. And, and you know, I will uh, counsel people sometimes and I say, you need to do forgiveness on this situation. Oh, I've done my forgiveness. Yeah, I wouldn't be seeing it still in your aura if it didn't need to be forgiven a little bit more. You know what I mean? So remember, even if you think you've done the forgiveness, do it again. It doesn't hurt. It can help, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay. So the joy of forgiveness. I am flooding my being and every cell etheric record since the beginning of time with a joyful experience of divine forgiveness. In forgiving, I let go of all the effects and misused energy impinging on my life and the lives of all humanity. I let go of ignorance, confusion, and pain of this world. I know I have to love life free, and so I shall. This is the heart center of my existence, the joy of forgiving life as it enters my awareness. From this forward, moment forward, I'm setting all life free into higher vibration with the gift of forgiveness that my Father, Mother, God, have given me so freely into my keeping. I am a force of the violet flame of forgiveness, flooding this sweet earth. I am the joy of forgiveness. I am the joy of forgiveness. I am the joy of forgiveness. Now, there's one thing about forgiveness that I want to remind all of you about. We oftentimes do not forgive ourselves, do we? We blame ourselves for things and you lay in bed and you go, oh, I should have done that differently, right? Inner reflection, forgive yourself and do inner reflection and cancel out those negative thoughts, okay? I'm going to give you all a little trick when you do inner reflection and something's playing in your head especially at night when you're going to bed, they'll play over and over. I should have done this different, right? I should have handled this different. I should have said something differently. As you do that, you want to look at the, thing, at the situation, put it up on a whiteboard. You know whiteboards that we use to write on things? Okay and then take an electric violet eraser in your hand. Just imagine an energy er eraser, it's electric violet color. And you put it up on that whiteboard like a movie or you write it out. And then you go erase, erase, erase. Erase, erase, erase. Erase, 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 okay? Keep doing that till you can't see it anymore, okay? That helps you, it helps, first you want to do forgiveness though, but it also helps erase the energy of what happened and it doesn't keep feeding, you don't keep feeding the energy of that situation or that person or that interaction, okay? So let it go. We can't live in the past, can we? Nor can we live in the future. We can hope for the future. We can say, okay, well, I want to manifest this in the future. But right now, I'm living right here, right now. We don't often, often, we don't actually have to accept what is happening right now. But you don't have to be involved with it. Put yourself out of it. Don't put yourself in the middle of chaos uh, and trauma and think that that's going to work out fine for you because it usually doesn't, does it? So keep yourself at peace and in power and invoke for what you want to happen and manifest from that alignment, okay? When we manifest, how do we manifest? We align with the divine and say, this is what I want, you know? You can invoke what you want. You can tell the universe what you want. 
but the universe doesn't know the difference between negative and positive, does it? So you say, I want this, or this is going to happen. Oh, no, all over again. Guess what? It happens all over again, doesn't it? Because you put all your energy into that negative part of it, and you brought that to you. But if you say, okay, it happened the last time that way, but it's not going to happen again, and put some forgiveness and to love into the situation, lots of times that will help the situation, and it won't reoccur. But if it does reoccur, there's something that you need to learn. It's mirroring to you what you need to see. Okay. So as we go through our lovely life here, we have to become in control and empower ourselves. And then we become at peace with ourselves and at harmony with ourselves. And then we start becoming all we can be. We live in this big, beautiful soul of love that we give to others. And that's where giving comes in. You share your knowledge and your gifts and your talent and your love. Guess what? Your life is going to get more enhanced by that. A lot of people say, well, I can't give because I don't have this right? That's living in lack, isn't it? And we talk about tithing, okay? And people say, well, I don't have a lot of money right now. So if you have a dollar, can you give five cents? That five cents is not going to make you or break you, is it? And think about giving and tithing, okay? How much do you usually tip a waitress? Anybody? Okay. Okay. And so do you have a problem with giving 10% back to God? Okay. Think about it. Okay. Don't forget. And it doesn't always have to be money, does it? It can be sharing your knowledge, sharing your love, giving to somebody that has had something happen to them or given some place somebody a place to live while they get back on their feet. You know, that's all giving. And guess what? That makes you grow exponentially in your divineness. And you're going to be a lot happier when you give, right? But don't forget, you have to receive too. It has to be a balance. Now, there's a lot of light workers out here, and there's a lot of light workers in the world, and they have trouble receiving, don't they? <laughs> that's why we have trouble with our root chakra. That's where abundance comes from. And sometimes in a light worker, it's all energy up here and nothing down here, right? <laughs> so we need to remember to receive as much as we're giving up. And know that we deserve that. That worthiness of the divine within us deserves as much back to us if we give out. So remember that when you're giving, you also must receive. Okay? And the more you give, the better your life gets and the more things grow and enhance. Okay? So we're going to invoke the violet flame now. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to do a gratitude. So let's just shut our eyes for one minute. And we just take in a deep breath. And I want you to think of all the wonderful, beautiful things that you're grateful for. And say those to you. For me, I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for my gifts that I have to give to others. I'm grateful for the holiday season because it makes me smile. And I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for my family. And I'm grateful for just being 
on this earth at this beautiful time, this amazing and amazing time where we're helping the earth to ascend into a much higher vibration with so much love that's going to be emanating from everyone without judgment, without competition, without hate, without irritation, where we live in community and can see the divineness and each and every one that we come in contact with. And we feel the connection with our divine Father, Mother, God at all times. And we live in song and in joy and giggles like little children and beautiful flowers and trees and nature. And we have clean water and we have clean air. And we live there now. And we must manifest that now. And as we say, thank you, thank you, thank you to the divine, we also call out, I love my life. I love my life. I love my life. So take a deep breath in and come back and we'll invoke the violet flame now. Transmute, transmute by the violet fire, all causes and cores not of God's desire. I am a being of cause alone that causes love the sacred tone. Transmute, transmute by violet fire, causes and cores of not of God's desire. I am a being of cause alone that causes love the sacred tone. Transmute, transmute my fire, all causes and cores not of God's desire. I am a being of cause alone that causes love the sacred tongue. So now we're going to have some amazing music from Liba, who has so generously brought her harp to play and to for us to enjoy. Invoking the spirit of awe of the flames and the spirit of joy, the angel Haniel, and the spirit of Yod He Vod He, the Most High God. Mm -hmm.
So I'm going to get quiet for a little bit. And for most of you know, I channel a little bit during my services, and then we'll go into a meditation. So all of you just breathe in, relax, and I'm going to get quiet. We are so grateful for all of you coming today to join in with the divine energy that you bring along with us as divine beings from above into this room and bring on to this room. We know that giving from your heart, you have showed up here to add to the divine energy that makes up all of the energy in this place. We want to talk about giving and generosity. As we come together, we realize that many times in our lives, we had the opportunity to give, but hesitated. And as you hesitated, it pulled an energy field back away from you. <coughs> so realize what the energy is, you, what you're using as energy when you are giving. When you're receiving, you use the same kind of energy, but it's what you've given out that comes back to you. So remember, what is it that you're giving? Be conscious of your words, your thoughts, your mind. What kind of energy are you giving out? Because every particle of energy affects another particle of energy. And then it's like a chain reaction, like when you drop a pebble into a calm a stream or a calm uh, puddle of water. It vibrates out, right? We're all vibration. We're all energy. We're all frequency. The higher you raise your frequency, the more love that you give out, the more you affect the world in a positive way. And you connect with positive things that will come back to you. So if you put out a positive thought, it goes out, it gathers up more of that positive thought or the positive energy, and it comes back and it connects up because it's aligned with a higher energy. And when you do that, it starts a cycle of giving and receiving. You see what we're saying? But... The same thing happens with negative, only the thing is when you put out a negative thought or you're angry or you're critical or you're judging, it goes out, it gathers more of that up, but it comes back and guess what? It sticks. Sometimes it takes more than one lifetime to clear it up. So think about it, in this particular time, with the energies that are so strong and beautiful that are coming through the earth each and every day, and uh, the winter solstice, and that's going to be another huge download of energy for all these beautiful people on this earth. And as it does, bring forth those things you want to connect in a positive way. And when you connect in a positive way and with love, your vibration grows. And it grows. And that's what we do. And do you know that all of you come from the divine human 
the atom cosmos. And that ray has such wonderful, beautiful ability, more abilities than we even realize that. And they're sitting inside of you. And they're willing to be and open. We'll be able to communicate with each other without even saying a physical world. You'll be able to uh, levitate. You'll be able to do such wonderful acts of love that you won't even imagine it in this particular time. But the gift right now is the season of giving, <laughs> receiving also the Christ consciousness, because we are celebrating Christ consciousness. It doesn't matter what religion you grew up in. There is a Christ consciousness a higher consciousness, a universal consciousness, a source consciousness. You can name it anything you like. It doesn't matter. But where is that vibration of that consciousness? And you receiving that and getting higher in your own consciousness and a welcoming it in. It's so beautiful. And what happened? When you start to welcome that, you know that old saying, shine from within. And you look at someone who's really on their spiritual path, who has really welcomed in that Christ consciousness that is full of love. What do you see? Their faces. You don't look at that person and say, oh, she's too fat, she's too tall, she's too skinny. You look at and you see their inner joy, their inner peace, their inner love. Yeah. All of that shit. And when you come in here and I start to come through and I see all of your souls, you cannot imagine. It's like looking at a starry, starry night. The glow is so bright, I want sunglasses. <laughs> you have all of them. But until you recognize it yourself and give yourself the gift of self-love and self-realization, and finding your divine true nature. Your purpose in life is to be all that you can do. People often come and say, what is my purpose? What's, what, what am I supposed to be doing? You have all that. But you don't surrender and trust to that either. So give yourself the gift. A gift of loving yourself. Doing forgiveness. Being grateful. Sharing. The more you share, the more everything grows. What happens when you take someone who has not had any food for a long time and you hand somebody some food. What does it do? When you're nourishing to a friend that needs a hug, it grows inside of you too, doesn't it? If you're helping somebody heal or helping somebody on that spiritual path, they will say, oh, thank you so much. You brought me some money. Did you receive from that food? 
the giving and receiving should be a part of an everyday life. And we need to have a balance in that too. Because you know, a lot of people are like we were saying, the light workers are having trouble receiving, aren't they? Because we're always giving, giving, giving. Now, but you have to receive to have that balance. Everything needs to be in balance. You ever see sacred geometry? This is sacred geometry of fine love. Is it balanced? Everything is energy, and energy is always balanced. So remember, giving is a magnificent thing, and it'll make you grow, and it'll enhance your life. But receiving has to be just as So you know a lot of people that'll say, oh, let me give you some money for that, and they'll go, oh, no, 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 no. Did you re ever remember to say just thank you? Because if somebody wants to give you something and you don't receive it, you're taking away from that person too. Because they have the generosity to give to you. So you're stealing from them something. So we all Lots of lessons to learn, don't we? But when we stay in balance with the giving and receiving, especially at this time, because people are more willing to give at this time, aren't they? Which it should be all the time. But that doesn't always happen, does it? But give to yourself the gift of divine love. Now they're getting there. Learning how to love yourself and how to learning how to properly to yourself. Don't forget to ask for help. Because a lot of us think that it's weak if we ask for help. They are not here. The divine ones are around the home. So so positive. Lots of times that's not our birth It's our spiritual So now as we go into where we belong, we'll go into a meditation. So get quiet. Put your feet flat on the floor, please. Bring in that divine energy and light from your crown to your heart and into your solar plexus and release. Bring in from the crown down to the heart, down into the solar plexus, and release. Bring in from the crown down to the heart, the solar plexus. And as you release, Remember that you are the divine child of God. The great I am presence starts to spark and magnify and grow within your heart. Feel the spark of God within you growing bigger and brighter and 
Feel the light filling up your body from the top of your crown to the tip of your tail. And that bright and shiny light inside your heart chakra grows deeper. It keeps growing bigger and brighter and bigger and brighter. And you become aware that you are divine light. That you are this magnificent soul. That you have come here to hold the light and be a light warrior. No longer is the soul sword needed, but the light sword is in your hand, and you are shining the light and leading yourself and all other beings around to call upon the divine consciousness within and leading them also because your vibration is growing bigger, bright, bigger, bigger. Now, smile at yourself. Appreciate the divine presence. Feel that joy rising up from the tip of your toes all the way up your legs into your abdomen. Line up your arms into your chest. Your neck, your head, and out to the front. And it explodes like a firework. You're as bright as a tip of a star. You are that divine being, that magnificent soul, that true. Feel your connection with all of the earth, the trees, the flowers, the grass, <clears throat> with the sun, the rock, the mountain, the ocean. Feel yourself going connected with animals and fish. Feel yourself one and connected now as you grow bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, connected with the universe, the stars. You are them. Know that each day when you walk from here, that you can look at anyone and see their divine star. Feel yourself connected with each other in this world. We are the spiritual family created in love and perfection. We are perfectly ourselves. We're the perfect expression of God that we can. Within your heart, in your soul, in your mind, but that's what we And then nothing outside of you can take you off of your path unless you are. Remember, don't be ready to put you on your path. 
to you the sounds of life, the colors of love, the vibrations of fun. We pull back in We go from this beautiful sanctuary in this peaceful place within us. We share this. Every person, everything that we can, and we all beings who raise to a higher vibration that you yourself permit yourself to hold that. I am too. Get centered and you can come back to your body. And remember, if you're still in a little wobbly from the, from the meditation, sometimes we kind of go out of our bodies to get centered before you walk out. Okay? Because they're doing things out there and that might knock you off of your center a little bit. Okay? So just really center yourselves before you leave the sanctuary today. I have some announcements to make. Um, like I said, if you feel so wish to help Catherine and her family out, that would be wonderful. Also, don't please try to donate to the center so that we can continue on bringing you great and wonderful things. Um, there are going to be some classes in the new year. Uh, the 21st is the winter solstice at seven o'clock here. We will have a celebration for that. Also on the 24th, since Christmas is uh, Sunday, on the 24th at seven o'clock, we will be holding a candlelight service for everyone. I think there'll be three of us reverend that uh, night. And so, um, there are many wonderful things that we're going to try to bring to the center in this new year. We have a lot of uh, um, classes and things that are going to start to come. So please stay in contact and make sure that you get on the mailing list if, um, and stay in contact. We're also on Facebook, the Cosmic Center of Spiritual. Is there anybody that has any questions or anything? So as we do, yes, honey. Mm -hmm. 
to get on the mailing list. Mm -hmm. For what? Oh, uh, Catherine, you can talk to Catherine and she'll go. Okay. Um, so um, don't forget to, to donate in the back. And thank you and namaste to all of you for showing up today and being a blessing in my life. Because when I give, I receive. <laughs> namaste. namaste.